Hey everyone, um, today I got a, a project to work on a new walking stick for a friend of mine. Uh, I've known of the, the guy for for years and years on a local radio station. He used to do the the production in the background, so, you know, answer the phone calls and do all the commercials and stuff. And once in a while he'd get on the radio and talk and um and I I I listened to him on the radio you know, the host of the, the, the radio shows for like years and years, and I, I've known of him, you know, until he uh, he started working with us. You know, I got to, got to know him really in a person. I was like just ecstatic, and he's even a better person in, in person than you actually know him on the radio. Well, he didn't talk much on the radio, but he's a fantastic guy, just all-around great guy. He, uh, he left the radio station to, uh, to do his band. He started the band. And it's called Sound Doctrine. They're all over the internet. You can check them out on YouTube and Facebook and stuff like that. And SoundDoctrine.com. I'll put all the information down in the, the descriptions. But he's a fantastic guy. I went and actually got to see him perform. Just, it blew me away. I thought, I didn't know it was that good. And he has CDs and everything like that. And, you know, check him out. Look him up and check out his music and stuff. I think he's just fantastic. Just a great guy. Well, he, uh... He found out about my walking sticks, and I showed him a few of them, and um, he wanted me to make them one. So I, it, it's really a, an awesome thing to, to, to work with them, too. He worked with us for a year, and he moved on. And uh, in that time, I got to know him. He's a great guy, just a, a, a good inspiration, you know, fun to be with, great personality, nice guy, great husband, father, you know, and a friend. So I went and uh, I got a stick, and for like two, two or three weeks, I've been thinking of what I can do with it, and I, I come out with uh, this stick. What I'm, what I'm, I'm believing it's mahogany, you know. So, so I was thinking I usually put the twist like a flute all the way down it, and uh, what I did here is I, I, I've drawn. I measured it all out and I put this pattern in there and it's going to be the flutes are going to be this way with a with a larger drum and then the smaller flute is going to be a smaller drum going in the opposite direction and how I got that on there I measured up two inches every two inches and then one inch for each one but I left a quarter inch in between to start and stop each flute and keep them sections and I used a toilet paper to make the joining rings all the way around it and then I cut, I cut it out, I measure it out on there and I cut it out to be the exact notch I could just trace it and move it to the next next one and trace it and there's four inches round so I got four on each one and the same thing with the smaller part too I got the, the, the small small ones for the the one inch one and then at the top I did this with a couple of my other sticks where I take tracing paper I'll print out his band name and uh, to the size I need then I'll take some carbon paper and I'll match it up to where I need to put it on the stick like that and I'll trace it in with a pencil and that'll give it what uh, the name is and then same with his name he's known as Jerry B and I put his name in there and I put it behind uh, put carbon paper behind it and I went with with a mechanical pencil and colored it in and it transfers what I need onto here onto the stick and then I can work with my Dremel and carve it out. And then the handle I got at five and a half inches down and then the top I have no idea what I'm going to find for the top so I'm going to have to go to the store and check some stuff out. But uh, this is going to be a lot of hand sanding on it because uh, I have to hand sand every little groove in here. Usually it's a bit, I have a big long twist and I could just go right up and down really quick, but this I have to be careful. So uh, it's going to be fun doing it. I never did one like this before, and I, I chose this wood because it's really sturdy, and it, it carves really nice, and you can it sands really nice too. So we're going to give it a shot, and I, I keep in touch with them on Facebook, and. Uh, I asked him about his name, does he want his full name or he just wants Jerry B on there and he said Jerry B and uh, so that's that's about what I got for now so we'll, we'll keep uh, keep you posted in the next video to see what I, how far I got. 
hey everyone <clears throat> it's in the morning it's like five o'clock in the morning and um I just wanted to show you how much I got done I sanded these out these I wish I'd drawn a pattern on there so I know how far to go out and how wide to make them but I'm winging it and just eyeballing how far they're supposed to go out I'm using the the larger sanding drum a, a rough drum and then for the smaller ones I'll switch it up with this and I'll go in so I just wanted to show you a little bit of uh, what I got. Start working on this. I do it the same way as I do the smaller ones. Let's go down a notch. It's in an awkward position to get it in the camera. So I'll have to be extra careful. And I don't want to make how wide it is first what you want to do is work at it a little bit each one and then because if you make one too wide then this one isn't going to be wide enough it's going to look off from this one so you have to work a little bit on each one and slowly make until they come together where you want them just take your time and uh... alright I got it all I'm gonna I'm gonna go back with some sandpaper, maybe uh, some 80 grit sandpaper, and I put it on like a little a drum or something, and I'll finish these up to make them more even, and then I go in between here. I'll, I'll sand hand sand all of these, go up from 80 all the way up to give them more shape, because if I use the sanding drum, it takes too much out at one time. So this way, I can really just go real slow. Now you can see what I've been working on right here. I've been carving that out and it was really hard to get these straight edges so what I had to do is get another bit and uh, it's, it's a square bit but that round bit that I had I don't know if this is picking it up it's actually square and I could make these square these really straight cuts with this bit a lot easier like in here this is this is a straight edge here and a straight edge here and uh, it's it's a lot easier to do with this to get that get that clean cut like set over the round bit you can see where I got them so that's what I'm working on so far I'm gonna make it rough all the way around and then I'm gonna carve this in you know so that's what I got so hey everyone I wanted to show you uh, the progress on that, that that stick I got it all see well, I still have to paint I'm gonna paint this in this is the the stick number 40 but I paint this in with black paint and I sand it off so it's like you can see the letters really well. I do this with all my sticks and I cover it up with the, the tip that protects it. And uh, this is it all the way down. I love, like I said before, this the, the grain in this wood, it looks really nice. And up here, I still have to get the handle and I got the top to, ready to be put in. And his name is in there and I put this, this thing in there. It gives it a nice added touch in that cross and uh, I made it rough around that to make it stand out a little bit better and uh, so right now I'm going to put the gold leaf in here and then in the sound doctrine so I'll show you the progress on that see this gold leaf is I'll show you here it's very 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 thin I get it in the camera here and it, it's it doesn't take much to tear off a little piece you know and, and let it fly away you can just breathe on it and it'll it'll blow away. So I have to put it first. I have to put adhesive in here, down in there, and then I'll wait for it to, to turn tacky, dry, and then I'll lay the the gold leaf in on on top of it, and I'll put I'll tamp it down with a with a brush, real careful, and then whatever when it dries, I'll just sand it off, and it'll stay whatever the gold leaf will stay down inside there. I get some adhesive and uh, it doesn't have to be perfect because you're going to sand all of the uh, the excess away so you don't have to worry about it getting on top outside around the edges or anything like that so you just take your time and, and, and put this in there uh, I'll let it dry a little bit and then I'll come back and I'll show you where I got what I got to do. 
Right, here we are back in a couple of minutes. So I have to get me a, a piece of this off of here. It's so thin. And just lay it across. See, if I just blow on it, it'll it'll want to fly away. So you have to be very, very careful. So you can see how it, how it takes shape of the E and the R. See? I might go back again and do another one. We'll just, we'll see. But that's how far I gotta, I gotta wait for it to dry and then I'll sand it off. But in the meantime, I'm gonna fill in the J with some adhesive and, uh, and start on that. All right, I, I got it all done, all the, the gold leaf in there, you know, and then up in here. And I, uh, I have to take it out and spray it now. I got the screw up in the top just where I hang it as I spray it. And it's kind of cold outside, so this wood is going to look really nice when I get some coats on it. And then down at the bottom, I this is this is stick number forty. So, uh, and the day it's made and stuff like that. So, I'll get spraying. I'll see you in a little bit. Well, I'm finally done, and uh, here it is. I got the the cast part glued in there really well. And here's the handle. You know that that make those make some good handles. I like them a lot. And the length of it, and the sound doctrine, and everything. And uh, here's the length of it. You know, all the way down. It took a lot of sanding, a whole lot of sanding. I will say it probably took a total of 20 hours. Uh, you know, because I can only work on it at certain times. About in you know, between 18 and 20 hours to get it totally done. And it took a whole lot of sanding each every little spot on this thing and uh, spraying it was it took about three days to spray it totally and uh, that's about it you know so it's a nice size nice sturdy wood too so I hope he likes it so uh, I urge you to check out his uh, his Facebook page his YouTube even uh, on the internet and stuff like that like I said before I'll put the descriptions down in the everything down in the descriptions and uh, you can check him out he's a really great guy and um, I think that's about it